How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Pilot Patriot channel. In light of recent events, we've been thinking about things that you can do to keep your family safe. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about backpack armor. Now backpack armor is not a new thing, but it is something that I've been thinking about a lot lately, especially given recent events. Uh, I do have two small children and my son is getting ready to start school here in the next couple months. And so this is something that I've thought a lot about. Um, it is a sad thing that we have to even think about stuff like this but the fact is that there are crazy people there are bad people in this world that want to do bad things and the best thing we could do is make sure that we're doing everything we can to protect ourselves and our loved ones so the panels we're going to be talking about today are from premier body armor they make all types of body armor vest backpack armor and things like that the one we have here today is their large backpack panel as you can see here, this is 11 and a half by 16 and a half. Uh, will fit most of your medium to large size backpacks. It is tested to 3A standards, so that means it's going to stop all pistol rounds up to 44 Magnum. It's also special threat rated for uh, 12 gauge buckshot and slugs. It's also going to be stab and slash resistant. We are going to get out here on the range and test this for you in just a minute, but first let's talk a little bit more about it. Now these types of panels can be used in any type of backpack, whether it's your travel backpack or or something like that or like we're talking about today your child's school backpack but a couple things to consider when you're choosing the armor for your backpack if you want to actually get in here and measure the internal dimensions this one here is about 12 inches by 17 so this 11 and a half by 16 and a half is going to fit in here perfectly As you can see, it fits in here nice and snug. It'll also fit into your standard laptop pouch. Now this particular backpack doesn't have a laptop pouch, so I'm just gonna slide it in here to the back. I may also go ahead and put some Velcro on it just to keep it in place on the back of the backpack so it's not getting in his way when he's getting books in and out and stuff like that. Now, uh, backpack armor can do a couple different things for you. Of course, if you're wearing your backpack normally, it will protect you from the rear. Of course, you do want to talk to your children about how to react to instances like this. Uh, the typical response is run, hide, fight. Um, so if they are running, then the backpack on their back will give them protection from the rear. Now you could also, if you find yourself in a huddled position against a wall hiding or something like that, you can reverse that backpack and put it on you front ways like your average armor vest and it is going to protect your front as well. Um, for smaller people you could even get down behind it and hunker down kind of like a shield and use it that way. Uh, just an extra level of protection uh, just in case. Of course guys the likelihood that this will ever be needed is very slim but if you follow this channel for any amount of time at all you know that we like to be prepared. I'd rather have it and not need it than of course need it and not have it so that's why we're talking about this here today i will put a link to this panel in the description below if you want to check it out um, premier offers some other school safety type items premier also offers a pencil pouch something like you would put into a binder that's going to give you even another layer of protection so assuming you had the pencil pouch in your binder and then you had the backpack panel behind that that's going to give you double the protection could possibly even start to defeat some rifle rounds once you start stacking that 3A body armor. So that's something to think about. I'll put a link to that in the description as well. Another product they offer along the same lines is going to be a bulletproof laptop case. This large panel by itself weighs about a pound and a half. So it's not too much extra weight in the bag, but if you start stacking these things up, it is going to add some weight to your bag. Now we do have another one of these panels that we're gonna be using to test. They come in several colors. You can get them in black, FDE, multicam, black multicam, several different colors. We do have an FDE one that we're gonna take out to the range and test for you guys. So let's get to it. 
Now I didn't want to shoot up my son's nice new backpack, so I did go to the dollar store. I picked up a little cheap backpack and a few items that you might find in your average school bag. A notebook, um, a hardcover book that's going to act as kind of our school book, um, and then a binder with some paper in it. Because while our panel is rated to stop all pistol rounds and shotgun rounds, I do want to see with a backpack full of the average school gear would it stop a rifle round so we're going to fill this backpack with all our school stuff we're going to put the panel in the back and we're going to shoot it for you guys and see just what it can take we're going to start out nice and easy with some 22 long rifle from our rough rider 22 pistol let's check it out all right guys you can see our shot went in right here went through our notebook here into our hardcover book you can see it's starting to slow down here into our notebook full of paper but it did not go through the binder Let's see if we can find that round here Yep, there it is guys, there's our 22. Didn't even make it to our armor panel. Uh, so I don't know what that does for our test. Now for the integrity of actually testing our armor, I think I am gonna take these materials out for now while we're testing the smaller calibers. And once we get up to the rifle, I'll put these things back in just to see if we can defeat that rifle round. But like I said, I am pretty confident that our armor should stop everything else. So for now, we're gonna leave this backpack with just the armor in it so we can get a good test of that and we'll shoot that 22 one more time. It's pretty interesting to know that just the books themselves will stop the 22, but we are gonna give this another try now that we've taken all that out of the bag. All right, guys, we hit roughly in the same spot. There's our two shots there on the backpack. Now let's check out our panel. There's where she went in right there. And no exit, no deformation at all, actually. All right, let's step it up. All right, guys, we're gonna step it up to some nine millimeter with our Smith & Wesson m and shield. Let's go check it out. All right, our bucket doesn't seem to be hurt, so I don't think it went through. You can see we actually hit right there on the zipper. There's where the shot went in. And I do feel the bulge there where that round got caught, but as you can see, there's no pass through. Now we're gonna try some 45 long colt fired from our Taurus Judge. All right, guys, there's where our shot went in right here. You can see that's where it entered the panel there and I can see the lead down inside of there. A little bit of a bulge on the back, but no pass through. All right, guys, now I think we're gonna step it up to the AR-15 firing 5.56. We are not gonna put our books and stuff back in just yet. We're gonna try the panel by itself just to see. And assuming that the rifle round does penetrate the armor, we'll put our books back in and see how that does. All right guys, now we're gonna go at it with some 5.56. Some of you guys might recognize this 10 and a half inch pistol from a previous video. Oh, that did not look good for our panel. All right, guys, that destroyed our bucket, so I think it's safe to say that it passed through. Let's see if we can figure out where our shot. Our shot was right about here on the bag. Let's go and check out our panel. There's the small hole where it went through there. 
and it looks like we did have pass through it's a very small hole but it did pass through uh, so we're gonna set this back up we're gonna put our books back in and we'll see how it does then All right, we're gonna try this again now that we have the books in the bag. But I did see some dust kick up from behind the bucket, so I think that's a bad sign. All right, guys, there's our shot right there, dead center of all the books. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now let's see here. There's our shot on the notebook. It did pass all the way through the notebook. There's our shot on our hardcover book. You can see the exit hole there. There's the shot into the binder. And of course, yes, there is an exit hole there. There's our entry on the panel and exit on the panel. Now this is all that I, this is all the materials that I have with me. Uh, I would assume that school books would be a little thicker than this. Uh, so I don't know. But I think we did the best we could with this test and it's safe to assume this panel will stop everything that it says it will. Keep in mind it's not rifle rated, it's not even supposed to stop rifle rounds, so it's doing everything it's supposed to do. Wait, 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 just one second. Now I am not satisfied that we have given this thing a realistic chance of beating those rifle rounds. Now I don't know about you guys, but when I was in school we had much heavier, thicker books than this little flimsy thing. Uh, so I don't think that was an accurate representation. So what I did was I've gone out and I got some nice, big, thick books, more reminiscent of what I had in school, what I think um, kids are still gonna be having in school. Something thick and heavy, a nice big math book, history book, something like that. So we're gonna drop these two guys in and we're gonna give it one more chance. And if this one doesn't work, I promise I'm gonna give up. All right guys, we're gonna give this thing one more chance now that we have some more realistically sized school books in there. Let's check it out. All right, let's see what we got here. Now our shot's right in here somewhere. Let's look through here. All right, it's gonna be one of these in that book. Yep, right in the center, looks like it did go through the notebook as well. There's our entry and exit on our first thick book. Entry and exit on our second thick book. Entry and exit on our binder paper. We have entry right here on our panel. And, yep, exit hole. All right, guys, all in all, I would say this panel did its job just fine. Like we mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is only 3A rated, so it's rated up to 44 Magnum. That's gonna cover um, pretty much all pistol rounds. It's also rated for buckshot, slugs, and FN 5.7, as well as being stab and slash resistant. Um, it is not rated to stop rifle rounds, and of course, it didn't stop the rifle rounds, so no big surprise there. Just kind of wanted to test that for you guys. But I am very satisfied with the product. I think Premier has done a great job of making a quality product here. They do offer this in several different sizes. They even offer it custom for specific bags backpacks if that's something that you have um, so i will leave a link to premier body armor in the description below make sure you guys check that out and don't forget guys if you want to help support the channel you can always use our links in the description below you can follow us on patreon and facebook and you can visit pilot patriot apparel to get yourself some patriotic and second amendment t-shirts thanks for watching guys please like share and subscribe and stay safe out there